Today in the video, we're going to take an image and isolate it from the background, just like you see over here. Let's get started. To get started, open your image inside of Photoshop. Make sure you're using the latest version of Photoshop because the quick selection tool in this version is massively improved. To use the quick selection tool, you can find it over here. Just hover over that tool right here and you'll see quick selection tool. Click on this one time and above over here will show two buttons, select subject and select and mask. We're going to use the select subject button and just click on it once and all the magic happens automatically. It's isolated our subject from the background. Now to delete our background, we're going to use a mask. To use a mask, you can go into layer, layer mask, and we're going to choose reveal selection. This will leave our selection revealed and isolate everything else. So just click on that once and look how quick and easy that was. Now, if you want to leave your background transparent and you don't want to add a different background, you can just export this as a PNG file and save this. And that's it. You have an isolated image. If you're going to want to add an image background, I'm going to show you how you do this as well. So just click file place an embed and you can select your image over here for the background click place and it's placed our image above the subject i'm going to the layer panel right here on the right and i'm going to drag this down now to make our background bigger i'm going to click the move tool click on the background and command or control t this will make the background transform and now i can use my mouse to enlarge it and position it however I want. It's positioned correctly right now, so I'm gonna click Enter to release, and now I want to save this. Before saving, I need to delete all the transparent parts. To do that, I'm going into Image and click Trim. Over here, select Transparent Pixels. I want to trim all the transparent pixels. Click OK, and now we can save this file export save for web notice in save for web you can determine the image size so i'm going to change this to a bit smaller just so it's not so big and doesn't take so much space because we are talking about web usage now click save to save and name your file however you want click save to end the process if you like this quick little design hack Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Design Hackers, where I teach designers how to earn more money in less time, exactly like this. I mean, this process could have taken a long time if you didn't know this small little hack. Thanks for joining and see you in the next video.